When it comes to performance, can high-end Android devices finally dethrone iPhones? This is what Alika, who shared the test result for the upcoming Galaxy S24 processor, which would outperform the iPhone 15 Pro, suggests. Its revenues, a respectable leaker, who on X shares the Geekbench 6 score of Qualcomm's future Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, and socks which should equip the Galaxy S24, and which promises to be even more efficient than the S17 Pro chip in the iPhone 15 Pro. Apple devices have a long history of having high performance because to Axe processors. The most recent, the S17 Pro, is no exception to this trend as it provides tremendous raw power and depending on the iPhone 15 models, achieves a Geekbench 6 score of between 7100 and 7300. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 should power the Galaxy S24, at least certain variants. And according to the leaker, it performs better than Apple's A17 Pro Socle, scoring 7400 points on the Geekbench 6 multi-core test. This would represent a huge improvement over the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 that currently powers the Galaxy S23 Ultra and its other variants, which averages 4976, still in multi-core, in benchmark tests. The iPhone 14 Pro with its A16 Bionic chip, on the other hand, averaged 6,406 points in the test. Therefore, the difference is quite important. As the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has not yet been presented by Qualcomm, it will be by the end of the year. The information shared is not official. Everything should therefore be taken with a pinch of salt. It's also possible that as more iPhone 15 Pros are tested, the average score will increase on Geekbench. Note also that this is only the multi-core score of the benchmark and that the single-core score of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 could still be lower than that recorded on Apple smartphones. Finally, it is said that Samsung may not use Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on all of its Galaxy S24s. In 2023, the brand placed its complete trust in Qualcomm by equipping its Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra with Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. However, Samsung may resurface and provide some countries like as Europe, with its own Exynos CPUs, leaving Snapdragon chips for other continents. We won't know for sure when the Korean maker will unveil its brand new high-end smartphones until the beginning of 2024. So let us know what you think in the comments section. And if you enjoy the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech news. See you tomorrow. Peace out.